We're gonna be going to the Hag via the metro. It's one hour away. Well, I think it's pretty cool that a metro can connect to cities. Let's do it. All right, guys, we're now out of the subway. We're at the Hag. Let me tell you, in Netherlands, nobody wears their mask outside of the train station but inside the train you actually gotta wear it i saw a guy get in a lot of trouble i think he had to pay some fines so keep it on for the subway and then when you're out in open air away from people do as you please voila Check out this scooter guys, you can actually rent the thing. It's in the middle of the street, but you just get the app and you can take it. Anyway, let's explore more of the Hag. Believe it or not, most government operations run off here, not in Amsterdam. Almost everything is here and many of the first things in the Netherlands started right here in the Hag. So it's, I don't know, like a second little capital. You also get canals. It's a sunny day, so the people of the Netherlands are getting their sun and whatnot. You know, and not just with people in the Netherlands, but like the sun overall with Europeans, it's a very touchy relationship they have. They love the sun here because they don't get that much. Sophonator will tell you. Yeah, I love the sun. I must say, you definitely get more European vibes over here. Because when you visit the cities in the Netherlands, a lot of them are very modern looking. However, at least here in the center of the Hague, it kind of... I mean, it looks like a little European town. Sophie feels like she's in France. Yeah, I feel more like at home. Check out the coffee shop, guys. Oh, but this is a regular coffee shop. Hello. Hi. This is a normal coffee shop. Yes. Yeah. Do you have the Netherlands coffee shops around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or like what, somewhere there? Uh, the yeah, the closest one works for me. Dr. Green. Dr. Green that way? Yeah, and then to the, le to the left. To the left that way. And then it's on your left hand. Alright. It's called Dr. Green. Dr. Green, thank you. Is the best one here? Uh, not the best. Not the best, but closest. The closest, yeah. Alright, cool. Thank you. Yes. If you look down and zoom in, you're gonna see that this is actual money right here. Coins from all over the place. Oh look, here we have an American quarter. All right, the one I recognize right there. What else do you think they have here? They probably have some euros, some pounds, some rupees, some Indonesian rupiah. You have everything here, so, huh? A franc? Yeah. Or like from France? Old franc, one franc. Oh, I never even seen that. Yeah, it's been such a long time. Oh look, here's like an old quarter. All right, guys, welcome to the hack. You can see old coins. You know, normally I like to know a little bit more about a city when I go, but this was last minute that we jumped on the subway and we made it over here. But so far, I'm liking it. <laughs> Typical Dutch fashion bicycles everywhere. What do we have around the corner? It looks like the spot here. All right, so this is just, well, restaurants and shops everywhere. Check out the biggest food courtyard ever. And then here we have some faces. Let's go. Let's see what they are. Or who are they, I should say. But they're like literally all around the place. This one is Minella. Oh, everything's in Dutch. But don't fear when you come here because everybody speaks English in the Netherlands. When you see this in the Netherlands, it serves a purpose. It's not a garbage or nothing. It is a public toilet. They don't want people peeing in the canals, well at least in Amsterdam, so they have these, but here in the Hague, well they just have one, so I'm gonna do the demonstration of how to use it. Sophonator will hold the camera. Alright, 
it was one of my shortest pisses ever. I wish I had more in the tank to give, but I didn't. But it's extremely nice. Check out the view I had, guys. I was literally staring into that up there. As you can see, you can see a mix of really old architecture. Like Sophie's saying, she feels like she's in a European city. However, you also see some of the modernness, some of the quirks that you'll see in the Netherlands. However, incredible to think that just 40 minutes away, Rotterdam, the port city, got completely battered during the war, completely 100% destroyed. And 40 minutes down this way, the Hag, well, seems like it has kept its identity the same since the war. I have to make a professional travel vlog here, so I'm gonna give you guys important information. Everything here is about half the price from Amsterdam. I'm talking about food stuff, um, the local Netherlands product, and everything overall is just a lot cheaper here. So do keep that in mind. As you can see, it's quite a lovely little city. Imagine you forget where you leave your bike and it's in the middle of all of this. The city comes equipped with a Chinatown, guys. We have a Chinatown in the Netherlands. Netherlands is already a little country. But the fact that they managed to squeeze in another country in there, I think is interesting. So let's check out Chinatown here. Now, the Netherlands colonized Indonesia for a short time. And when that happened, well, you got a lot of Indonesians here. So you will find a lot of Indonesian cuisine here in the Netherlands. Another Indonesian restaurant. Then everything else written in Chinese up there. We have plastic Chinese food outside. Sophie has pointed out an interesting discovery here. We have an Indian market. Oh, and they have arena pan, all right. They have a lot of other stuff. But oh, they're closed today. Chinatown Brewers where if you can read that or that, then yeah, you know what it says. Check it out. This these kind of CDs still exist. And what? There's an audience. And of course, it comes equipped with a proper coffee shop. I saw this and I got excited because I was gonna get a biryani, but they're closed for renovations. Where's the biryani, anyways? Dun, 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 dun. I have a, they have a big menu, but I don't see biryani. Yeah, at the bottom. You found it? Here. Oh wow, here they are. All right, thirteen fifty for a biryani. Check out old the hat, guys. Just like Amsterdam, you even get canals with nice little flowers all around. You know, I came here and I didn't even know what I was gonna vlog. I didn't know what to expect. However. I'm starting to fall in love with this little city. That's why you travel, that's why you explore and preferably go to like more less, no, go to less visited places. And what, well, you run into little surprises like this. And now we're in a Muslim neighborhood. Here in the Netherlands, you will see a lot of Turkish people. You will see Moroccans and Algerians. And what, well, they kind of taken over this part of the city. And they have multiple restaurants, bakeries, barber shops. Check out these Turkish pizzas. It wasn't part of the travel vlog, man, but I'm not getting a haircut as I'm in desperate need of one. Like I always say, look for Turkish places or I will place it and you'll get a good cut. Let's see what we get. All right, like new guys, brand new haircut. I like it. Check it out guys, the pigeons are completely immobile right now. They are not moving. I don't know if it's the pigeon rest stop or if it's the effects of the Netherlands hitting the pigeons hard right now. Did you guys go to the coffee shop? Look, I could even get close. I had to get within a foot of the pigeon for it to finally move. Over a thousand people here, not one face mask. 
Except for Sulfonator. <laughs> you guys see what I told you though? Only in the metros and trains where it's mandatory are people wearing the mask. Other than that, it's like the Dutch people are too open minded. Yeah, the hag is full of beauty. What do you think? Yes, beautiful. You even get a classic beautiful old tram. Reminds me of Kolkata. Fun fact guys, Ocean's 12, well part of it was shot right here. In the hag, which has his own like miniature forest you know i read something i'm not sure if it's true that there's more trees in the hag than inhabitants let's count all right sophie will count and this will be the longest vlog ever we need everybody to stand still though cheese cheese lettuce some sauce lettuce with sauce is special for my family special from do, your family i don't do food like uh, other people really for me okay it's and a special for my family a special sauce for your family and where are you yeah. from what do you think i'm not sure turkey nah. morocco nah. Okay. Yeah. 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 huh kurdish from yeah. oh wow and you venezuela South America, yeah. Thank you, man. You, you here for holiday? Yeah, yeah, I'm here on vacation. It's time to try some food here. These guys are making some amazing pitas over here. We're gonna give them a try. Oh, man. Check out the fries guys, they're seasoned with something and they look really good. Oh here's like the little spice counter if you want to add salt, pepper and all that. Check it out guys, the peaties are in. I got the chicken, Filminator got the cheese one. Delicious. Mm. Delicious? Well she already started, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the chicken one. The chicken peeps. Mm. Oh you need to try the chicken one. Yeah. Mm. Guys, this toasted bread is so good. The cheese is good. And the seasoning for this chicken. Mm. It's amazing. It's a little bit sweet. But man, this this taste is something. Let me let's try another piece. Mm. There's something in there. It's a a hidden ingredient, a secret ingredient. I don't know what it is, but it is delicious. Mm. Hey, brother. Very, very good, man. Delicious. Delicious. All right, bye-bye, guys. Take care. See you again. Guys, I can only recommend this place so much. Pete Weeds, right here. Look for this place in between the bicycle thing over there and it's next to the McDonald's right there delicious guys i i cannot recommend the food enough this right here is become a new discovery i love it i love it all right guys that's gonna wrap things up here from the hag in the netherlands what a place it was a good adventure any thoughts <laughs> fulminator I was, I was trying to remove my mask uh, no i really loved it a really european really good vibe like atmosphere people everywhere architecture i really like it a lot all right the French stamp of approval is on. Bam, bam. I hope you liked the video and catch you on the next one.